How do dipoles make their magic? This comes from Chris in Portland, Oregon, a place that Terry and I just visited. Great city, loved it. It was, we, we, we did a four day bike trip out into the Willamette Valley. And oh my gosh, we fell in love. Uh, the, the countryside out there, the people, really nice. You guys, right along the Columbia River Gorge. and Wow, what a cool place. All right, hey Paul, I love your videos. Why, thank you sir. Um, they help get my mind off the arduous days at work. Oh, I'm sorry. I met the nicest young man, can't remember his name, came up to me, Terry and I were having breakfast at a little deli, and this, this young man came up and, are you, because I had put my name in, you know, Paul, and so, you know, you go up and get your stuff, right? And he came up and he's so nice and he goes, is your last name McGowan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, he you know, he, he's uh, an aspiring audiophile and what, what uh, anyway, I, I, I apologize for not remembering your name, but if you're watching this, that was so nice of you to come up and introduce yourself. Thank you. Um, I, uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. my question involves dipole speakers, okay? Are the rear firing speakers delayed slightly or are they on the same time as the front speakers? Just curious how dipoles create that magic sound. Your insights and your inspirations are much appreciated. Well, I don't know how much all that's, I, thank you. That's, that's very kind. Okay, dipoles. All right, these are dipoles. A, a true dipole is a speaker that has, well, di meaning two and poles. Um, this is one pole radiating out that way and another pole radiating out that way. So the Infinity IRS-5, true dipoles. The, the front wave comes out and the back wave is doing the opposite. So the front and the back of a dipole are always out of phase. So as one pushes, the other pulls. But they are in time. In fact, not only are they in time, but they are in fact the exact same driver. So like these, this dipole, now it doesn't have to be that way and I'll explain that in a sec. This, this, this emit, I don't know which one you can see, um, it's, it's a push-pull open at the back diaphragm. So as it pushes this way, it's pulling that way at exactly the same time because it's exactly the same driver. Now the tweeters on the IRS-5 are not dipolar tweeters, they're monopoles. So what they had to do to make it a true dipole is the front tweeters push and then there's a whole new set of other tweeters in the back that uh, are just out of phase. So how do they make their magic? Well, dipoles ha are, are actually pretty interesting. They, they have a lot of good points and they have a few bad points. One of the good points about a dipole is that the sidewall interactions are really at a minimum. And that is because of this in-phase, out-of-phase thing. So where the two meet, they cancel each other and there's nothing there. These wings on here are actually here to prevent the front from getting to the back down to a certain frequency, okay? And the sidewalls over here, how close the speakers are, uh, become kind of irrelevant. So where, where a normal speaker is broadcasting this large balloonish kind of thing, sidewalls matter a lot. In a dipole, they don't matter too much. Dipoles also take advantage, if you, if you use them properly by pulling them out from the rear wall, they take advantage of this space back here and they have tremendous imaging. I mean, this, this speaker system images like few people have ever had the opportunity to hear because it's a dipole and of course it's the Infinity IRS-5. I mean, <laughs> um, so like I have diffusers back there. So the rear wave is just as important in a dipole as the front wave. Now the downside to that is that you can't really take a dipole and shove it up against the rear wall. So these don't work too well if you don't have them kind of far out into the room. But that's, that's you know, other than that, it's, um, there's really not a whole lot of magic. Many speakers, like, like our upcoming speaker, we were originally going to do a dipole, and then we decided, you know, one of our goals is to let our customers take their speakers and put them up closer to the rear wall to make it more 
agreeable in real world situations where you don't have all this real estate like I do in a dedicated listening room. So you want to be able to push it closer to the wall. But we still have a, a out of phase rear mounted tweeter because that's Arnie's style, that was Infinity's style, and it helps with the spaciousness. So you can dial that in and you'll get a more spacious sound by this out of phase tweeter that works its magic in the room by bouncing off the rear wall uh, out of phase. And eventually, of course, it does arrive at a different time to your ear, but in the process of doing that, it's exactly in time. It's just it takes longer for it to come around, bounce off the wall, and hit over there. So yeah, essentially it is out of time, but not because it isn't happening at exactly the same time on the speaker itself. I hope that helps. Hope that answers your question. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.